Just pop this out. And I think we finally have some silver right here. Large scent. Looks like it's probably going to be a braided hair. 1964. Out of Philly. All right. Another one. That's cool. cool. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Rick from Hunting Southwest Ohio back again for a different type of video. I don't know if many of you caught my submission videos that I did to PCGS a while back. Um, not very happy with some of the results. They completely missed the attribution that I paid for on a 99 white AM. I have sent this to a ton of people, taken it to my LCS, looked at photo after photo. It is 100% a 99 white AM. So we're gonna be breaking this out for resubmission to NGC. I also have five 2009 Lincoln Sense. It is the formative years variety. And this is a DDR FS802. Uh, same thing with these. I uh, got a couple 65s, a couple 66s. Um, these were all out of a roll directly from the mint. And I can't believe that we couldn't get a 67. All of these look as good as the 67 photos that PCGS has online without a problem. So these are also going to get broke out as well. We're going to resubmit them to NGC, hoping for some better results. Um, I can't hardly find anything wrong with these personally. There's no rim dings, little to no scratches, no marks. I mean, they are really, really nice. So we're going to do a breakout video. We're going to go ahead and break some of these out. So I got this 1999 we're going to start with first. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get this thing broke out of here. Hopefully this will work pretty quickly. I've done this in the past. I couldn't find the same pliers I used last time, but we're going to see how this goes. There's one. Like I said, pretty frustrated. I had several other people, same exact coin that had this problem recently. In the last five or six months or so, it's probably been nearly a year since I sent this in. Um, but it's time to uh, resubmit. I have a large order going to NGC, and I will have a video coming out on that here pretty quick. I'm just finishing up some of the submission stuff. I will get that all filmed and get it edited and get it out. So. Anyway, like I said, I don't know anybody, or if any of you, as what I meant to say, have done a holder breakout like this before. I have done one in the past, watched several other people do them online. So we are going to go ahead and get this one broke back out of here. And we are going to send this back off for a regrade here. All right, I can get my screwdriver in here to get this split apart. All right, just a second here. I'm gonna break a little bit more off here on the bottom. There we go. All right. Get this thing broke open. So anyway, like I said, super frustrated with PCGS. I will not be using them more. I immediately canceled my membership after this happened. And we will see if we have better luck with NGC. I did contact them, ask them if they would please regrade it, and they said uh, they talked to. So there it is, broke out right there. 1999 white AM. They did talk to the grader. He did not feel that it graded at a, as a white AM, so therefore they were not willing to do anything, but I was free to resubmit if I would like to do that, and it would be the same fee that I would have to pay to have it regraded. And I said I definitely was not doing that. So, so anyway, there is the leftovers. Got one broke out. I'm going to go ahead, break these next four out. I'll be right back. We'll take a quick look at these out of the holder. We'll have a new submission video coming pretty quick here where we will resubmit these. So hang tight. Let me get these four broke out. We will be right back. All right, we are back. There is the shrapnel right there. What's left of it. I will show you these up close real quick. 
So these are the FS802s we're talking about. I mean, these things are nice. I have looked and looked and looked at these things. I just don't understand how out of a mint roll. I understand you may not have a 68, a 69, or 70, but I don't see any reason why out of a roll from the mint, brand new roll, mint, mint sealed, could not be at least a 67. We actually had some of these come back a 64. I think we sent eight in originally. These are the best, four of the best ones, 265s, 266s. Like I said, we will be sending them back in. So there's one. There is another one right there. Here is a third. Same thing. These are all the FS802 right there. Oop, here is the last FS802 right there. And last but not least, there is my 1999 wide AM. Like I said, this did grade out at a 64. Did not get the designation. There is 100% the space between the A and the M. The FG is close to the memorial, just like it should be. This looks exactly like every picture PCGS has on their site for this coin. All the details are there. So anyway, I'm going to pull them out, throw them in some flips. You'll see these again real shortly coming up here as I put together this order. So I appreciate you all coming along. Hope you enjoyed this uh, breakout video. Uh, we will definitely be back to see what we get on the grades when they come back. I will show you here real quick so you can see what we had. There is my 99 wide AM, just came back a straight 64. Here is one of the FS802s. It was a mint state 66 red. Did have the designation. Here is another one that was a MS65 red. So we had two 65s, two 66s. According to PCGS, we're going to get them into NGC. See what they have to say. Once again, appreciate you coming along. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next one.